Often it might be easier to select uh, different rows and columns using labels. That's something where data frames has advantage over other types of, uh, of storage. In this case, we will be using attribute lock. Unlike iLock, which means index location, this one allows us to provide labels. So as you've seen previously, each of the rows we have in our data has a name of the row. That's the special added column here, contains the name of each row. So it's a numerical name of the row. So in this way, we now access an element in row with name or label zero and with column with label sepal length. Let's see if it works. That's 5.1, again, the first element like previously. Now we will access second and a third row of the column petal length. Unlike index location, when we are accessing a slice via label, we just define where and where to inclusively. So that's going to be a second and a third row. When we take a look here, those will be those two rows, which is second and a third with labels one and two. Let's execute the cell and we see we got two numbers. When we are doing that with index location, here we had to define as one to three. So that's a very important difference. Thirdly, let's access first 10 rows and last three columns. The same way, first 10 rows go from zero to nine inclusively and columns this time are defined with labels also inclusively.